Hi guys. So, I want to tell you a small story. Usually, um, I don't do this with with gear. I don't do this with with a with a Grand's first books axe. I don't do this with a new Mora carving knife. I do this because this is something special. Um, just like the backpack from Guy, Meander and Maker, there was only one axe intended for this pack. Also a body of mine, very very proud to call him a body, um, Joe. Not just your average Joe, uh, but Joe lives in Canada and Joe makes axes. Um, and and, and to, to say that he makes axes is, is not an understatement. He is not a blacksmith because this piece right, right here was purchased by me. Uh, from a local uh, axe junkie in Denmark. This axe head is uh, from Sweden. It's an old Hultsbrook head. Um, it's 900 Danish grams. I don't know how much that is in, uh, in, in pounds, but um, it's a decent size for a, a camp, camp axe. I can easily wield this with one arm, I can easily wield it with two. So, I have been talking to, to Joe for some time and I asked him, Joe, what would it take for a Danish axe junkie and passionate woodsman to be in possession of one of the axes you make? Uh, and Joe gave me some instructions I did what he said. So I bought this axe head and I shipped it to Canada. Um, I shipped it to Canada um, not knowing if it would reach him uh, or if it would even work. Um, but it did. I had a lot of trouble with the Danish postal system but during these troubles, uh, me riding back and forth with emails the axe showed up at Joe's house <laughs> and I was like stop writing emails and they wrote me 10-14 days after and Joe had the axe in Canada it was all safe but they, they still wrote me um, but I asked Joe um, if he would be so kind to tell me a bit about why he does this so I can help share his story. Um, and Joe wrote me five or six lines. Um, Joe he writes, and I'm, I'm using my phone as a bit of a guidance tool. Joe he wrote um, that his love for axes started when he was a young boy, going into the woods with his axe, his saw and his pocket knife. And in, in uh, other countries than Denmark, like Norway or Sweden, Canada, some other places in, in the US and uh, in the southern parts, Russia, people have uh, large parts of, of forest or woodland or crownland um, that they can use. In Denmark, the, the woods are small and this is not what we do normal, normally. Um, but, but Joe's passion for access started as a child. Um, he writes, he grew up in Nova Scotia. The house um, that he lived in had uh, a heating source that required uh, fire. So splitting wood with an axe was an everyday thing uh, for him and his family. Um, he, he writes, after leaving Nova Scotia, he moved to Alberta uh, and he lived in the city where he didn't need to use an axe. I don't know if they have central heating or gas heating or whatever, but it doesn't matter. 
an axe was not a necessary tool uh, to provide warmth. Some time grow, go by uh, and Joe bought a house in the countryside uh, and he found a hatchet, a hatchet head in his backyard. He cleaned it and he hung it on a handle and he writes that he had forgotten the feel of the axe and forgotten how it, how it was. Um, he writes that a few months later he bought something special uh, at a garage sale. It was a three, three and a half pound Hultzbrook, Hultzbrook Montreal pattern axe head. He, um, uh, he writes that he, he didn't know what, what this was so he did some research uh, and he found images of axes that have been restored. Um, some time after that he joined Instagram and he, he would bump into jerks like me. <laughs> uh, and there's a large axe industry in Sweden and people build American brand axes and Swedish axes and Finnish axes uh, and Joe found that a metal head, some decent leather work, a sturdy uh, and well curved handle with very very nice grain orientation um, was just a thing of beauty. And when he, when he tells me this, um, I actually agree. Um, I have a large background in photography. Whoops! A large background in photography. Uh, I used to shoot animals, plants. Uh, then moved on to bodybuilders uh, and fitness girls. Taking uh, taking a look at the the physical form of a male bodybuilder or a female bodybuilder. I also think it's beautiful. Uh, not sexy or attractive in that way, but it is beautiful the way the body is shaped. So that is in my in my past, in my background. Then my outdoor life began. And I started to look at tools like this. Not like this, because this is a tool that that comes to you once in a lifetime. Um, but I, I started to look at knives and axes and saws and I started to take pictures. Uh, I know my way around a camera. Uh, some of it is with a cell phone, uh, this one. Some of it is, is with a professional uh, digital camera. Um, and I started to notice the same thing as, as Joe is describing. Um, Metal head, wedge, leather work. This axe even has a paint job, but a sturdy, curved handle, and even better, a new axe is very, very beautiful and very pretty and very uh, shiny. But a well used axe that is taken care of, uh, an oiled handle, uh, a well treated axe head. That is a thing of beauty. So, it is my pleasure and my joy and my very, very big honor to have this, to keep it, to treat it, and to use it. Uh, I wrote Joe that uh, I was going to tell my wife, um, we need to put this, honey, this needs to hang over the television. This is Canadian art. Uh, <laughs> We had a small laugh because uh, that was never going to happen. But I am going to take care of this. I'm going to treat it very well. And I'm going to swing it. I'm going to use it. And I'm going to enjoy everything and every memory that I can create with this tool. Um, so, from a Danish woodsman in the Danish forest. A bit of gear talk, um, if you want to look at some great photos of axes and restoration, I'm going to link Joe and his Instagram site in the description beneath. Um, and 
thank you, Joe. This is this is uh, more than I can say. Uh, thank you for. Um, uh, I I can't even put put a price on it. And I have spoken to Joe, and he knows how I feel. Uh, but I I have a YouTube channel uh, with with bushcraft and outdoor stuff. So not making an axe video is just stupid. <laughs> Um, but I'm gonna enjoy it. Um, it's a beautiful day today. No flies, no mosquitoes, not cold, not overly warm. A beautiful day and a nice tool. Thanks Joe.